Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got a Wayne sales brochure review. Um, this one's definitely interesting. Uh, this is a new addition to my uh, sales brochure collection. I haven't actually seen this version of a sales brochure before uh, with this front cover is what I mean. But uh, Wayne, and then there's a Wayne down there uh, keeping ahead of tomorrow. And you can see the silhouette of what is probably a 747 above the bus. Um, and you know, they're stopped picking up kids, uh, what looks to be a driveway. So if we open up to the first page, we've got this, uh, nice little Wayne. Uh, it says Glen District School number seven. You can see it's like a little, uh, painting, got the kids. Advanced technology increases Wayne lead in school bus safety. There's a picture with the silhouette of an airplane. It looks to be like there are part, um, I can't really tell what that is. I'm, I'm guessing some kind of switchboard or something. Um, and down there it's just talking about Wayne's. This is a 1968 sales brochure. The Wayne lifeguard frame. So this is pretty interesting. Got everything written in cursive. Uh, so this is the Wayne lifeguard frame. This is the very first version of the Wayne lifeguard. Um, this right here. Uh, so... Again, as with most sales brochures, it's got different uh, colors to show you the different strengths of each steel uh, that the bus is built with. Definitely an interesting touch to add in the cursive to make it look like it was written up by someone and not just typed out as a brochure. Uh, next page, we've got pictures of the steel frame and structure. Um, at different parts of the bus, there's the back bumper. There's the rear end of a Wayne lifeguard. You can see next page let's see there's the driver's area in the switch panel uh, pilots new aircraft style control center um, I mean I can kind of see how that's kind of like an airplane the way the switches are um, if you've ever seen the inside of an aircraft you might be able to see what I'm talking about um, and then there's just a picture of the driver's point of view uh, driver's seat Wayne lifeguard uh, first aid kit there. There's an axe. There's the uh, picture from this driver's seat. This is actually exactly what it looks like sitting in three's driver's seat with the door shut. Like even though that's an older Wayne lifeguard, it's exactly the same. There's the handle for the door itself. Then we got the inside with the seats. There are some uh, athletes there standing in the back of the bus. Beautiful, spacious interior. That's My guess is right there they're talking about high headroom and how the, the roof is meant to be higher than most buses of the time to accommodate taller people. Um, there's the different seat colors you can get at the time. Action engineered passenger seats. I'm gonna say metal backed seats, probably not the safest thing. And then over here, you've just got different types of seats that you can order on a bus. Um, what is that? A fiberglass seat? I'm assuming that's for a prison and or city bus. Not the safest. Uh, right there, we've got pictures of kids sitting in seats. There's the picture, or the breakdown of what the seat is made of and what it looks like. Um, steel guards. Not the safest. Uh, yeah. Powerful tornado heating, ventilating, defrosting. So this is just different. Uh, got some kids wearing uh, winter clothes there. But this is different uh, views of the heating and defrosting mechanisms and explaining how it works. Uh, there's a little side thing on the body for the air intake. Um, and there's just a diagram to show you the airflow. easier escape window openings um, so you can see in that picture uh, kids getting out of the window the window actually is big enough for someone to climb out of it if the bus happened to be on its side or there was an emergency um, but obviously it's not recommended uh, to do just for no reason and then there's the different windshield options uh, over here we've got the door frame which the door on a Wayne pretty much stayed the same from this body up until the last body 
New safety voo doors. I think I said that right. Um, and we got a picture here of the door. And this is basically just talking about how the door opens and closes. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's like a little diagram of the body's warning lights, all the light systems. Right here, looks like he's standing in front of lights on a, what I'm guessing is probably a test thing, a test board to test the different lights or something like that. Convenient maintenance features cut Wayne upkeep costs. Looks to be a mechanic looking at a clipboard. We've just got all these different photos showing you how um, Wayne's are easily maintained. Some of these photos you've seen before in other Wayne sales brochure videos that I've done. Um, definitely interesting to see. Extensive new research gives Wayne most rust-free bus bodies ever. This is the truth. Wayne's do very well with not rusting. Even my Wayne that is not running and has sat for the last 20 years doing nothing has no rust underneath. It has surface rust on top, but nothing underneath. There's a picture of an actual bus. Uh, looks to be a Lodestar. And it's got the rear door with no bottom window. Got some testing going on there. And this is just the, the treatment that would be applied to the body itself. And I think that photo is showing that snow and salt rusts buses. As you can probably see the salt residue on the side of that wane. Um, and then right here, oh this is cool. Uh, it's the paint booth. You can see a wane right there getting painted. And then there's the... Uh, talking about the drip rail and the rail design um, and the rub rail design how it's better than the other manufacturers and, and how it's meant to keep the bus from rusting uh, right here you got a photo of somebody washing a bus school buses for the physically handicapped so that's pretty cool interesting these uh, lifts right here were not very common it's uh, an elevator style lift uh, that goes completely down to the floor and the doors open up um, obviously it's a bifold door but the entire lift goes it takes up that whole space and it goes down like an elevator um, and you really don't see that on many buses uh, most of them have the uh, smaller regular lifts that you'd normally see on a bus but right there's a Wayne Lodestar absolutely beautiful bus right there uh, there's a made-up Wayne. Looks to have high headroom. Uh, let's see, what does that say? Move up to modern high headroom buses. <laughs> uh, there we've got a changeable sign. Looks like high headroom right there. I'm pretty sure the inside of that is a high headroom Wayne too. You can see how the wheelchairs used to be stowed on an older lift bus. Not the safest that way. Um, and then the back cover. Wayne exceeds safety standards. Got that picture of that Wayne that you guys have probably all seen before. Um, what does that even say? Something Glen District Schools. I don't even know. And then there's the Wayne plant. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of this Wayne sales brochure. Uh, let me know what you think. And, yeah.